What's going on YouTube? Welcome back. Making sure the door shut. I know I haven't been around much lately. A lot of things been going on. I actually did a video last week on the lawnmower repair that I did, but there's a lot of footage and I haven't had any opportunity to edit it. But this week I figured I needed to let you guys know what was going on. So my wife wanted me to fire up the grill. I got the coals going, charcoal. I've got some strips in the refrigerator. I've rubbed them down with some sea salt, caressed them. I will be placing them gently on the grill after I have cleaned it. You gotta clean it before you grill. And I will show you how I do it. All right, stick around. All right, YouTube, the grill is clean and hot, or hot and clean, however you want to put it. And it's time to get these steaks put on. So I'm going to put some of the Keith's Farm on there and see how it does. It did, did really good on the pork the last time, so I'm just going to put a little bit on the steaks because I am all out of smackers. I'm not going to go heavy on this. I'm just going to go a little bit at a little bit. And I'll fruit up the steaks and do the other side. They've been in the refrigerator for a couple hours now. I should have used a bigger pan. But hey, hindsight is 2020, right? These look good. Sirloin strip. I got a smart wife. That's for sure. I wouldn't even, I hadn't even thought about eating today or even grilling. When I was at the butcher shop, they had some frozen sweet corn that they gave me. And I figured what better to go with a steak than some sweet corn. So I'm going to put these steaks on. I might have to add some more charcoal to that because it's been burning a little bit longer than I liked before I put the steaks on. Yeah, just things have been going on. So I'll put a couple of briquettes on there and uh, get a little hotter. I'm keeping track of the steaks today with my new Seiko 5 SNK 793 watch. It's an automatic that doesn't need winding. It doesn't have hacking where the second hand stops and it doesn't have winding, but it's a nice value for the money. You can buy these things cheap, less than $70 on Amazon. I've got it on a new band. It's an inexpensive band from Walmart, about $12, because in this heat, the steel band is just too sweaty. Mm, that corn looks good. I just checked the temperature on the steaks and they're about 120, which is just where I want them to be. And you can see I added a couple extra coals, so I'm going to put them over direct heat for a minute. A little bit hotter on the left than it is on the right. Might have to adjust 
my cooking times. Steaks have been over direct heat for a minute each side, flip and then change direction and flip again four times. And I've got a temperature between 130 and 135. Actually, it's 138. So these steaks are ready to rock. All right. So, I'm going to get these on a platter. I'm going to feed my family. You just imagine for yourself how they taste. <laughs> if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what you think. Hit that little subscribe button down there in the, red, in the, in the corner. And uh, maybe if you want to, ring that bell and see when I upload another video. <laughs> I will talk to you all later. You have a good weekend. Bye.